I have a Sony DSC H10 uh, with the LCD screen damaged. Um, I will just show you. Powered up, and as you can see, it's uh, the screen is cracked. Um, I'm going to strip it down and uh, remove the screen. I should point out that there is a capacitor that stores a charge inside this. It, um, it stores a charge up to about 300 volts. If you put your finger across it, it gives you a nasty little burn across your skin. So I will show you how to discharge that as well. Uh, I'm going to start stripping it down. First thing I'm going to do is uh, remove the battery. Here, each side of the serial number. Okay, we have another two screws underneath here. Little uh, flap down here, the cold plastic cover, rises up. Have well, you got that or not? Uh, cut that for a minute. Little, little flap here, and um, you see, get a lever underneath, and it just comes up. And there's two screws hid underneath that, um, and you can see. One, two. The screw here for the front end as well. We're only going to take off. Or sorry, the, the, the LCD side. We're going to take off the uh, lens side first. All right. That should prise open now. have now is the front end of the camera and I was telling you about uh, a capacitor that stores a charge and there it is there that capacitor there you accidentally put your fingers across them two pins it 
you will get nasty to the burn. Uh, I'm just wondering, can I get a reading of the voltage of it? Let me show you. I'm going to put my. See, it is drawing voltage on it. Let's see. You switched off for a while, so there might not be nothing on it. But we, we just give it a try. So the battery is discharged. Sorry, I should say capacitor is discharged. Um, the, maybe because it hasn't been used for a while. Of course, um, have to check. And uh, what you would do is you would use a resistor uh, across the two pins. And you would then. Uh, Connect the two pins with a resistor to discharge it. You wouldn't discharge with a with a, a screwdriver across it. Um, it would make an awful bang. Now, the next thing we have to do now is take off this back cover. Right, we have one screw here this side. Put it in. Okay, there's two screws that hold this front in, and they're they're hidden here. One here, this side. And it's a self tapper, small self tapper. It's different than the rest of them. To remember that for reassembly, and another one on the left hand side of the flash. Two self tappers, one each side. We get a claw each side here. before we pull back on. Now we have access to our screen that is cracked. Um, here. So the next thing we have to do is start disassembling that. To remove the screen now we have a clip each side of the uh, of the screen, sorry on this left hand side here. Two retainer clips. See, can I get them out? Okay, that slips up like that. Pulls out of a there. We have a plastic protrusion here that goes into this little steel holder here. That's how it's uh, it's looped in there. How it's retained. So you have to pull it out. Then you're left with your LCD cable. Uh, 
I normally just try and lift it with a flat. your LCD screen out and this would be, uh, be available as a spare from uh, Sony so uh, we'll get back to you as soon as I get uh, a part. <laughs> 